Are you thinking why you should outsource? Watch this complete video to get all the answers to your questions. I'm here in the technology park of India and I will be sharing with you a lot of information about outsourcing in this video. What's going on? My name is Ameya and welcome to one more video. If this is your first time here and if you want to learn more about outsourcing, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell button. Many people ask what is outsourcing and what are the advantages of it, whether it will be useful for their business and how. Also why they should consider outsourcing jobs to India. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything about outsourcing and how India has sustained its position for the last two decades. Question number one, what is outsourcing and what are the reasons? So outsourcing is a process to get your work done from a third party vendor instead of keeping it in your company. The company started using it as an important strategy after 1990s. The organizations which were not totally self-sufficient, they outsourced those functions to the third party vendors. In the 1990s, as companies began to focus more on cost-saving measures, they started to outsource. The companies outsourced their work for a couple of advantages. The major reasons are to reduce operating cost, improve company focus, and to use internal resources for other reasons. For example, Delta Airlines had outsourced their customer service to India. So when the passengers used to call for baggage claim, the customer care executive sitting in India used to handle the query. These companies also outsource their functions because of various challenges in their home country. In many cases, they are facing increasing wages or shortage of talent or maybe they don't have enough domain expertise in a particular area. Almost every company outsources in some or the other way. The most common forms of outsourcing are information technology outsourcing and business process outsourcing. However, there are many outsourcing forms such as legal process outsourcing, recruitment process outsourcing and manufacturing. I am curious to know how you are associated with the outsourcing industry. Make sure you comment below and let our community know on YouTube. In a recent survey, 80% of European and US outsourcing firms ranked India as the number one outsourcing destination. India is leading in the competition with China, Mexico, Ireland and the Philippines. As per NASCOM, almost half of the Fortune 500 companies choose to outsource software development to Indian outsourcing firms. BPO role in India's economic growth is making a significant impact now. Indian BPOs are leading the competition because of quality services, skilled workforce and cost effective and quick turnaround time. Question number three is which are the major cities to outsource in India? When we talk about outsourcing to India, the major cities that come in mind are Bangalore, Mumbai, Delhi and Chennai. However, certain tier 2 and tier 3 cities in India are emerging as a hot destination for IT and ITS industry. These emerging destinations not only provide significant cost savings but also possess a strong talent pool in specific domains. For example, finance and account skills in Ahmedabad and English language skills in Kochi and Indore. Companies also consider Pune for their IT requirements. Most of these emerging destinations have the fast improving infrastructure and developed IT parks. Attrition levels are much lower in the cities where an outsourcing job is still considered attractive. Question number four is which industries outsource the most and what task is outsourced to India? So the Indian IT and ITS industry has a strong and established customer footprint in North America and Europe. The industry coverage is also extensive with clients from manufacturing, telecom, high-tech, retail, BFSI, healthcare and travel and transportation. In outsourcing, the BFSI industry has the largest share of 41%. Depending upon the requirement, these companies outsource various functions. It involves from simple data entry to complex research and development. Just to highlight the examples, companies outsource back office, customer contact, common corporate functions such as finance and HR, knowledge services and research and development. Question number five is what to expect in India for outsourcing. In India, you can expect the widest spectrum of services and capabilities. You can consider this destination for cost advantage and scalability. India has a large talent pool for IT and ITS industry with more than 100 million English speaking people, the second largest in the world after the USA. 
India has an existing talent pool of IT employees with the outsourcing industry providing direct employment to 3 million people. Every year, more than 200,000 engineering graduates are joining the IT industry. If you are considering to outsource to India, it could be the best option for your business. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.